In this video, I'll show you how to create a project in which the tasks are not tied to specific start dates and finish dates. You know, one of the questions that comes up occasionally in the Microsoft Project user group on the internet is how to create a project that isn't tied to specific dates. Amazingly enough, that functionality is built into Microsoft Project, but good luck finding it. So in this video, I'll teach you how to do that very thing create a project that isn't tied to specific dates. So let's get started. I have an unusual situation with this project. I don't know the start date of the project. And in spite of that, my client insists that he does not want to see dates in the start and finish columns and he does not want to see dates displayed anywhere on the time scale bar at the top of the Gantt chart screen. Well, amazingly enough, I can actually address this problem using built-in features in Microsoft Project. But the first thing I do need to do is to set a ballpark start date for the project. So to do that, I'll click the Project tab to display the Project ribbon, and then I'll click the Project Information button. In the upper right corner of the Project Information dialog, I need to pick a ballpark start date. Well, here's what I know. It's projected that the official start date will be somewhere between January and June of 2024. So what I'll do is I'll pick a ballpark start date of, say, March the 4th. That's kind of cutting it down the middle or halfway in between. When I click the OK button, you can see that Microsoft Project updates all of the dates in the start and finish columns and updates the time scale bar as well. The second step is to remove the dates in the start and finish columns. Here's how to do that. Right mouse click on the Select All button. Remember, that's the blank button immediately above the row zero ID number. On the shortcut menu, choose the More Tables item. In the More Tables dialog, leave the Entry Table selected, but then click the Edit button. In the Table Definition dialog, click the Date Format Pick List button. This is the date format that will be applied specifically to the entry table. It will not affect any other tables at all. Down near the bottom, there's an unusual date formatting code called W4-4. Select that date format, click the OK button, and then click the Apply button. Holy moly! Now notice that Microsoft Project replaces all of the start and finish dates with this unusual code. For example, notice that for the first detailed task, Interview and Select Architect, the code is W10-2 for the start date, and W10-4 for the finish date. What in the world does that mean? W10 means week number 10 from the week containing January 1st. So that's 10 weeks into the year measured from January 1st. The slash 2 indicates the day of the week measured from Sunday as day number one. So this task starts on Monday, that would be day number two. The finish date is W10-4. That's week number 10 from the week containing January 1st. Slash four means the fourth day of the week 
starting from Sunday. All right, so that takes care of the start and finish columns. I don't see dates. Instead, I see this unusual code. Now, the next step is to remove the dates from the time scale bar. To do this, double click anywhere in the time scale bar. Click the label pick list button and go clear down to the bottom. Now, here's what I personally recommend. I recommend you choose the item called week one, week two from start. So when I choose that and click the OK button, notice that Microsoft Project now displays the date formatting as the week number from the start date of the project. Cool. So the first week of the project is obviously week number one, the second week is week number two, and so forth. So now in this project, you don't see any dates in the Gantt chart view. It's an acceptable view to the client. This is how to address the unusual problem that some people face with Microsoft Project. Well, now you know how to create a project that isn't tied to specific dates. Wasn't that amazing? If you like this video, I trust you'll put a like on it. But more important than that, if you have a coworker or colleague who could benefit from the videos in my YouTube channel, I hope you'll share my YouTube channel with them. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.